Well, your favorite YouTube YouTube mechanic and uh, what we're doing here is we've got a job on uh, a 2008 plate Toyota Yaris what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the clutch on it it's a one liter I think they're pretty much the same on the 1.3s and uh, even on the older ones like the 2000s and stuff like that pretty much the same so uh, it's here um, it's not gonna do it itself let's go okay guys the first job we're gonna do is we're gonna crack the wheel nuts on the floor or uh, if you've got a you know electric gun you can send it up and do it that way uh, but I'm gonna do it on the floor that way you're not putting too much strain on the gun and everything if you don't know how to take a wheel off you should not be even attempting this job so yeah I'm not gonna show you how to take the wheel off right guys the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the battery lead off well, obviously take the wheel we'll crack the wheel nuts like I mentioned um, but we're gonna take the battery off battery leads off battery bracket off which is here right 10 milli nut 10 millis on the battery leads uh, take them off but before you take them off ask, ask the customer is, is the stereo coded if it isn't coded then happy days if it's coded then you might need a code for it you might not depends and uh, yeah after we take that off we can gain access to everything dead easy dead simple let's go let's do this right guys as you can see I've took the battery off we're gonna take this off now the battery tray off basically 12 uh, 12 milli uh, bolts one here one here one down there one down there and there's, i think there's another one i think that's about it yeah take them uh three off one two three four off sorry take them four off and uh that should come off as you can see i've got my old tr trusty here the air ratchet compressors building up no time to waste let's go that's the real deal holy field ready to go let's go <laughs> okay guys the battery tray is off obviously when you come to taking the battery tray off you'll see these little wires and cable ties on the battery tray as well you'll you'll, you'll you know when you come around to taking off you'll see uh just cut them off or if you want if you want to do it like me just take them off nicely press the button here basically you'll when you get around to it you'll see it what we're gonna do now okay guys now we've took the battery tray off and everything um i've just took the uh, split pin out from the gear linkage take them off as you can see they'll come straight off right the earth strap, earth wire, take that off the gearbox, 14 millivolt, that's off, move that to a side, another bracket here, down here, this one here, 12 milli, take that one off, right, that's it, that bracket's off, uh, what we do is, take this wiring plug off, press down on it, There we go, there's that one off, put it up somewhere there, or tie it up somewhere. Right, what we're going to do is, this is what we're going to do now. The linkages are off from here, yeah, as you can see the split pin, uh, took the split pin off, that comes straight off, another one on that, on the bottom one as well, here, take that one off as well. We're not going to take these off, we're not going to take the horseshoe clips off, right, because if even if we take the horseshoe clips off, what's going to happen is the, the bracket's still there. When you come to take the gearbox out, that's going to get in the way of everything. The best thing to do is, we've got three bolts on it. One, two, and three down there. 12 millis. Take them off. The whole thing comes out of the way. Tie it up somewhere. Happy days. Out of the way. Alright, for you guys who want to know how you take them off. Obviously, you can't really get a spanner in there or anything. So, what you need is a long extension. 12 milli socket with a longish extension. And then, you can get to it there just like that yep and I've already cracked them with the socket uh, with the ratchet sorry and then basically take that one off like that yeah the bottom one come round this way underneath the linkage housing straight in there like that take that one off and same with the bottom one Try and do this with one hand, not easiest. Straight in there like that, and take that one off as well. So that's the way you take them three bolts off. There we have it, guys. The linkage is off. The gear linkage is. Uh, the bracket is off. Three bolts. Basically, it's two bolts. Maybe an idiot. I thought the top one is a bolt as well, but uh, no, that's just only a bracket. But take all of them off. Anyway, it makes it like easier. Uh, what, what I suggest you do is you get a packet of cable ties, about two, three quid. 
Um, even from the pound shop, you can get about 10, 20 cable ties um, for a pound. Get some cable ties, zip ties, and tie them up. It makes the job look a lot cleaner, easy access to everything, everything out of the way. You can just tie them up and everything. I would suggest you do that as well. Right, next job for us is we're going to take the slave cylinder off, which is down here. Okay, first off, we're going to take these two bolts off. After we take these two bolts off, this is a cover basically. Then the, the main bolts for this uh, slave cylinder is buried behind there. Right, I've took the cover off guys. Yep, them two bolts, 12 millis. Now there's the slave cylinder there. Don't take the pipe or anything off unless you're changing the slave cylinder. We're not changing the slave cylinder, we're changing the clutch. So that can stay as it is. All we're going to do is, we're going to take them two bolts off. There's one right there and there's another one there. Yeah, take them two off, 12 millis again. The slave cylinder, this on the pipe, you'll have little brackets like that, as you can see there. Yep, take them off, take this one off here, so the pipe goes on, the hydraulic pipe. Um, and then hopefully that slave cylinder should move out of the way. Okay guys, there we have it, the slave cylinder is off, nice and easy, two bolts, nothing to it, and two bolts on the bracket holding it on the pipe that is right well, i'm gonna do that tie this up to a side somewhere with the zip ties or cable ties whatever out of the way and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to get to the bell housing bolts right the bell housing bolts on this car basically it's there's one right there as you can see there's a the gearbox right there there's another one right where my finger is there i'll try to go go in with the camera so you can see it right there that one here this one here that's the bell housing bolt one on that side one on this side also we're going to take this off here that's the starter motor bolt take that off so we've got two 17 millis and one 14 milli take them three off and then uh, yeah that's about it for the top okay guys the next job for us is we're gonna crack the mountain we took the bell housing off right, there's one there as you can see not make it out there yep took them off Three, uh, two bell housing and one starter bolt off from the top uh what we're do now is we're going to take the mountain off we're not going to take sorry we're not going to take the mountain off we're just going to crack the mountain bolts yeah we're going to slacken them we're going to loosen them off this one this one this one there's one round the back here as you can just make it out there yep and the the main one that goes through this way they're all 14 millis. All we're going to do is we're going to loosen them, right? Crack them basically one or well, half a turn, and then just. Leave. Okay, guys, everything is done on the top. Uh, I'll just run through it so you can, um, so you get an idea. First off, we take, took the battery off, battery tray off. Then we uh, took the linkages off. Oh, well, we've got all the wiring out out of the way. Uh, took the linkage bracket off, linkages off. Then we took the uh, slave cylinder off, bell housing bolts off. Start a, mo start a motor bolt off. Uh, we've cracked the uh, mounting bolts, and that's it. Now we're going to send it up and uh, tackle the uh, underneath. Basically, take the ball joints off, drive shafts off, things like that. So come on, guys, let's send it up. Let's do it. Okay, guys, we've sent the car up on the ramp behind me. As you can see, what I'm going to do now is got the gun and let's uh, take the wheel nuts off. All right, guys, we've took all the wheels off. There we go. What we're going to do now is, I hate this part, absolutely hate it, but it needs, must, it needs to be done. I'm going to take the covers off. This cover here, got some 10 milli bolts underneath. Take that off, take this side off, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Let's go. Okay, guys, uh, the cover is off, or is it off? No, it's not off, because it wouldn't come off. One of the bolts absolutely rusted up, and you know, uh, so I use my ingenuity, yeah? There we go, I just bent it backward and tied it up against the bumper because I'm not taking that off which means I'll have to cut it off and everything That's why I said taking these covers, I hate taking these covers off Two ways to do it, either rip them off or if they come off nicely they come off or just tie it up there, that's it and out of the way Right, because the gearbox is there, uh, that's out of the way, happy days What we're going to do now is guys, we're going to take the ball joints off the, These ones here, take, uh, take the split pin out Obviously, I can't do it with my fingers, but get a little side uh, side cutters or something. 
uh, uh, flat screwdriver, flick them off, uh, take the ball joints off. Uh, we're going to drain it. So there's the filler plug. Yep, there's the drain plug, 24 mil socket. Take that off, drain the gear oil, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, what we're doing now is we're going to, we've, I've cracked the ball joints really tight. I have to get two spans on it, use a deadlock spanner on it. So what we're doing now is I'm going to take them off. We get the 19 milli spanner on it, and there we go. Okay, guys, uh, ball joint is off. As you can see, I'm out of breath because I had to batter the crap out of these ball joints. I hit it, don't hit it on the ball joint, but hit it on the case in there, the hub where the hub goes on. Hit it there. Uh, that's what I did, and then uh, yeah, it's come off. Or you can use the ball joint splitter, but if you use the ball joint splitter, you're gonna damage the rubber. Right, so yeah, that way now the way I've done it, uh, you can uh, reuse that. What I'm going to do with the drive shaft on this side, obviously I'm going to, I've took it's already separated, so I'm going to pull it out and cable tie it around the back here somewhere. Yeah, that way we don't need to take the full drive shaft off. You know, headache taking the centre nut off and everything. On this side, I had no choice; I had to take it off. So that side's off. Bit of a struggle taking the centre nut off. It's a multi-spline centre nut. I'll show you which one it is. This one, take that off and just tap it, but don't tap it on the thread. What I did is I got the uh, nut back on it, a couple of threads and tapped it with the socket on like that and I tapped it on the back of the uh, back of the strong arm. Who now it is, we're going to take this velousing bolt off, leave this one on, just uh, slacken it and leave this one on. I've already started taking these ones off. One, two, three four uh, this the 14 millis on the round the back 17 millis on the front so we'll take this one off as well now we can gain access to the bell housing bolt on this side I'll just take the whip that off zip that off start the bolt there take that one off as well and uh, that's about it on this side Okay guys, sorry about the noise in the background, that's the compressor going. Um, that slack, the bellhousing bolt, that bolt is off. All the rest of them are off, as you can see. All the way around here, off. As you can see on the top, that bellhousing bolt is off, the main bellhousing bolt, the starter bolt is off, freestyling, I've tied that up to the side. Um, right, the next job we're going to do is this centre mounting here, the stabiliser mounting. We're going to slacken these bolts, don't take them off, just slacken them. These two here, one round the back here, this one here, just slacken them off. Then what we're going to do is we're going to send the car down, take that top mounting off, totally off. The, end, uh, the gearbox should be resting on that one. Then we'll send it back up and then we'll just take the gearbox off. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll get uh, the, the lift here, the hoist here, hold it on the engine, take the gearbox off. Let's go guys, let's do this, no time to waste. Okay guys, what we've done now, we've, uh, we've sent the car on the ground, you can see it's there. I'm going to take them uh, mounting bolts off on the top. Let's go, let's do this. There's one, there's another one right here. We have it there's the mounting off there's the bracket the mounting bracket and everything the way we're going to do this obviously i told you take them bolts off there's another one i forgot to mention right in the middle here right you have to take that one up as well this bracket's not going to come off so yeah uh, take that one up as well 17 milli there all the rest of them are 14 milli bolts uh, that one is a 17 milli take that off happy days it's there as you can see i've got the uh, gearbox it's got the center mounting on it as it is and I've got it jacked up as well on the uh, jack, so uh, that's going to give it some support. What we'll do now is release the jack slowly, send the car up, and uh, take the centre uh, mounting off, take the gearbox off. Let's go. Okay, guys, the mounting is off. As you can see, I've got the lift on it as well. Uh, that should give us enough room just to get it out there. If you want to, you can go ahead and take this one off move it out totally out of the way but i haven't done that i can't be bothered doing that that should be i can get my hand in there should be should give me just about enough room to get it out get two people 
if you're feeling strong you can do it with yourself uh, but i'm gonna get uh, i'm not that strong so i'm gonna get two people me and my brother we're gonna um, i'm gonna take the last bolt off here and there we have it guys one gearbox off on the floor i'm gonna take the clutch off which i've already started taking off these are the bolts 12 milli bolts which go in here take them off the six of them one two three four five six take them off that clutch should come straight off and uh, yeah that's it Anyway, let's get this gearbox back on. Right guys, we've got the gearbox back on. There we go. Uh, we're putting all the bellows and bolts back on. Okay guys, uh, as you guys have seen, I've just put the uh, bottom mounting on, the stabiliser mounting on, the, uh, uh, the engine and gearbox are all stable. What I've done now is i put the jack back underneath, lift it up, um, lift it up a little bit, I'm going to put this bracket back on, then everything will be stable, fit everything uh, in reverse order. Happy days, let's go, let's do this. Got all the mounting, everything on. There, that's tight. The four, four bolts are tight. That one's tight as well. Tighten that up as well. What you could do is either way. You can uh, do the bottom first or the top first, whichever way you want. I'm gonna send it up. Do the bo bottom first. Get all the ball joints, everything on there, and then I'll uh, come up to the top and finish the top off. Right, guys. I've sent the car up on the ramp. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish everything off on the bottom. Everything in reverse order. I'm gonna put the drive shafts on. Put all the bellows and bolts on, starter bolt, put the starter bolt on over there. A uh, good top tip is put the top one on first, loose, and then put the bottom one on, or put the bottom one on, and then put the top one on, vice versa. Uh, but make sure you have both starter bolts on before you go tightening it up, right? Um, I'm going to put all these on, all the bellows and bolts here, drive shaft on this side, put the gear oil in. You know what, let's go, let's do this. Okay guys, we've got everything back on now, the ball joints are back on, drive shafts are in, all the bellows and bolts are back on, starters back on, ball joints on, on this side, drive shafts on. What we're going to do now is take this one off, put some gear oil back in. There's, there's one thing more, obviously this centre nut, I'll tighten that up while uh, when, when the car's on the floor. Uh, send it down, let's finish the top off. The top off. Okay guys, obviously I've done everything on the bottom, as, uh, as, as you guys have seen before. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish all the top off, put all the bellows and bolts on, all the linkage, and uh, this job, we're on the home straight, let's go. thanks for watching uh, that's how we replace the clutch uh, on the 2008 Toyota Yaris one liter I think it's exactly the same on the 1.3 as well uh, so yeah all I'm saying is stay safe stay home stay safe like share and subscribe to my channel leave a comment in the comment section and uh, yeah and I will see you guys soon